Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Planning for Reality and welcome to our bonus video for this week. I hope you're all doing well and had a great week so far. I want to thank everyone that has been commenting, supporting me, continuing to support me in my journey, whether it's through watching, uh, liking, subscribing, uh, but, uh, making an order from my Etsy store. Thank you so, so much. Um, if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you join us. I am here sharing my financial journey. My plan and goal is to get out of debt, save some money, have an emergency fund, be prepared for life, uh, planning for reality really, and, um, and all the other good stuff. So in the last few videos, uh, really at the beginning of July, I've started a new system and trialing out and um new envelopes new categories new budget uh and we're not completely there yet but i kind of feel like i'm on the right track now and i know where i want to be and how i want to get there so um i want to thank um a lot of youtubers that i watch uh, from the us from canada from um Australia, the UK, thank you so much for sharing your journeys, uh, the way you set up your cash stuffing envelopes and binders and your budgets because I've taken a lot of inspiration from you guys and motivation to come up with this myself, this system that I'm about to show you now. So a little bit of a background here before we start. Um, many months ago, I wanted to um, kind of release um, an Etsy starter, uh, a starter kit, and I still want to do it. Um, but um, cash stuffing, cash, em em uh, cash envelope system starter kit, and I am currently working on it. And I had spoken with a couple of companies um, about g getting some binders. And so they did send me a sample of this one and this one has a zipper and it comes like this but it actually comes empty on the inside and also this purple one which I absolutely love um, so I want to contact them about this one the material is so nice it's such it feels so high quality um, so I really want to look into that but that's where those um, these binders are from I'm going to pause for a second and check the little bump. Okay, so these two are the newest of my binders in my collection. So I'll put them to the side and I'll show you what's in them there. And these ones here that I had originally, I started my cash stuffing journey with these um, binders and I love them. Uh, but um, I'm not sure what I will use them for. I may come back. They are starting to get some wear and tear. I'm still using the um, the blue or navy one um, for um, as a business expenses binder, and I do plan on you know starting to use this one again and put money in it, um, just with hopes that you know I can um, from from business uh, profits. So that's the plan and hope. Okay. And this one here was my challenge binder. And these two I introduced uh, recently. I found these at a garage sale for $2. It was the most amazing find ever. And they feel so nice. Um, so, yeah. So I set them up now and I fixed up the envelopes. I reused a lot of things I have. And I will tell you what they are. And you might pick up on them on the way. Um, so... Firstly, let's start with this one here. So with the navy one, I took out the cover from the kids. Um, I had a kids binder. I decided that their trust fund, I just wasn't going to stuff with cash anymore. And from time to time, I will transfer digitally, you know, $5 to each of their accounts um, and continue to help them save. But I wasn't going to add it into my cash stuffing because it's not my money to save. Essentially, it is my money, but I'm giving it to them. So it's going to be theirs. So I wanted to keep the cover. And then I added birthday fund in here. 
and this is essentially just everything for the kids um, that are kind of things that you need to save up for so they that's why I've got trackers in there so back to school school uniforms um, school photos school events field trips school fees uh, which really should be school levies but I think it's about 120 per child and I have four kids in school so you can imagine that adds up teacher gifts um, I went out and started printing some of my um, challenges I had some um, paper that was used when I was um, doing a maintenance on my printer so they have some lines in them but I didn't want to throw them away so I just reused them and printed on them and I was also trying out um, this size for um, a product that I want to make and so I wanted to test out the size and if they fit so I just ended up making my new trackers in this size I um, mean I have one spare in case I think of something else so now this is going to be the kiddos binder so I'm really happy with that and excuse the shadows it is evening here the pink one I made these um, little dash or inserts I I saw this on um, I can't remember whose channel I think it was 50 something budgets I think um, but she's got these inserts and a lot of a lot of you beautiful people out there do um, and I thought it was such a good idea instead of you know having to keep changing out the envelope you could just change out the category so I moved that um, them in there in this one and this one here is going to be my long-term um, savings or long-term goals that I want to achieve some of these envelopes will stick because I removed the tape that I had in uh, before and I need to wipe them down with some alcohol but I'll do that later um, so just in case I want to keep debt is a, like a more of a long-term thing Getting ahead would be like month ahead or getting ahead on bills. Household is, you know, renovations essentially. Appliances, uh, you know, for those bigger appliances, fridge, washing machine. So these are like more expensive goals. Technology, um, I need to save for a new, well, I would like to save for a new computer because I know my one is going to eventually die on me. I hope not soon, but, you know, nothing lasts forever orthodontics was in the kids binder but I moved it here because it is an expensive um, goal and um, yeah so I'd like to add to it and I got this inspiration from Sean Budgets where she mentioned in her categories video to just add the categories as a reminder even if you can't start straight away I think it is a good idea to have them there and add to them when you can when you have some bonus money or something like that and same with retirement I'm currently self-funded, uh, self-employed, um, so I work um, as a self-employed domestic cleaner and nobody puts any money in my retirement or my superannuation, so I would like to hopefully save and then make my own contributions. So that pink one now is our long-term goals or savings, things like that. Whoop. I'm hoping these ones are more sturdy and would stand up better. But they may need something to, to lean on. Okay. This one used to be my challenge binder or my coins challenge binder. But now I've made it into my variable expenses. And, and what I mean by variable expenses is um, expenses or um, categories that money goes in and out in and out more often than others it's not like um, for example on this one you know with a tracker I'm going to save a specific amount for the birthday before I use it but medical fund I could be in and out of it on a weekly basis um, I could take you know for example a hundred out and the next week add ten so there's money in coming in and out same with pharmacy I made an allied health which is 
um, essentially physiotherapy for me, but it could be for chiropractor, um, dietitians, um, the um, anything to do with like allied health, I guess. Um, that's what this would be, psychology, um, speech therapy, things like that. Um, my kiddo has stopped their sessions because um, they don't need them anymore um, on a weekly basis or a fortnightly basis. And now they are attending to it in school, which has been great. Um, that shows that there's a lot of improvement and I'm really proud of them. Um, but yeah, um, health extras is going to be dental, optical. Those are the things that I need to save in here for. Hair care could be haircuts. Um, and I thought about labeling it hair care because I'm getting a lot of white hairs and um, I haven't had a haircut or anything like that in a real in a while. I think it was um, it's going to go on to about two years now where I haven't had anything done to my hair um, and um, the grays have started to come in, which is okay. But haircuts, um, head you know, dyeing the hair, anything to do with hair, if the kids need like gel or hairspray or whatever, it can come from here. Self-care is the beautician and self-care if it ends up being, I don't know, if the girls one day want to go and do their nails. That's my goal to eventually get to that where I can, you know, go and take the girls to do their nails. So that's why I labeled it self-care and didn't want to specify it just to beautician because I have that goal. Clothes and shoes is pretty straightforward. Fun and activities. This is for our family, our immediate family, so my kids and I and my partner. Special holidays includes Christmas, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Valentine's Day, Halloween. Anything of those special occasions that come throughout the year would come from this one. And currently we only have $20. Um, and I believe the next special occasion is um, Father's Day. But hopefully we can build this up um, for, for all of those beautiful occasions. And events and gifts. And this is for if we get invited to a birthday um, or a wedding or something like that. This is going to be this fund. Okay. Now, the new binders. I'll just quickly go through this one and just let you know that this is going to be my challenge binder. And I will talk about that in my challenge video which will be upcoming um, I don't want to give away too much information of what I'm planning to do and I've got some money in there ready for my challenges that um, I'm planned to do and if you remember the infinity challenge I'm planning to do this one also from my grocery money so we'll talk about it when the time comes but yeah so this one is currently no labels or anything like that on there and we will go through that and sort that out in that video. So I'll put that to the side. And finally, the purple one, which is my favorite. And I'm so and it fits so many. And it just feels nice. Um, so for this one, I also decided to make those um, envelope um, labels, um, the inserts. And I added some trackers because these bills um, take a little bit longer. So I want to make sure I'm on track. Um, so electricity, rates, water, post box. And for post box, I just added a subscriptions one. And I put annual subscriptions in here. Although I'm not, I haven't started stuffing it, it, it will eventually be part of the this category of bills. That's the goal. Um, I've got this little board in between, and then we've got car registration, uh, car tires, and I've added trackers to all of these, car maintenance, I added a new car envelope, and I added one for license and fines, and I got this idea from Mum Wife Budget Life, Amanda, um, she has one for license and fines, and what reminded me about it was... Um, in the past couple of weeks, well, we've been getting sent to um, a client's um, house that is actually way out of my area. And I have to go through a few t different tolls 
um, to to get there so that's also an expense that a lot of us forget about um, so tolls is actually something that I need to start to budget for um, every paycheck and then um, you know I don't know what I, how I'll work it out if it gets used or not used or things like that um, and I may add to these categories like I know I want to eventually you know have a buffer in my account um, I also want to have um, uh, what else um, off the top of my head that's the one I could think of was um, tolls and um, like a fuel buffer and uh, just a general bills buffer in the account ready in case something goes you know it's higher than what is expected or planned for and I'm also decided to change my budgeting to be budget by paycheck so now my since um, the beginning of July the company that I work with um, has told us that they're going to start to do weekly pay instead of fortnightly pay so I'll be getting paid every Wednesday from work and every two weeks I will still get some government benefits for my kids a family tax benefit so I'm going to be doing it by paycheck and not um, a weekly or fortnightly budget um, so that I can stay in control I know I might have to go to the bank more times um, than I'd like but I think it's better that way um, just to stay in control so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you like um, what I've come up with. And um, for example, you can see on this one, um, this was, you know, one of the papers that was getting used for um, when I was servicing my printer. So this is like reused stuff. And same with some of the envelopes, um, all the envelopes pretty much. They've got a sticky bit off the back because... Um, there they had stickers on them and I removed them and haven't removed them properly and these um, trackers uh, tracker envelopes were actually defective ones as well they were ones that were imperfect so I thought I would just use them um, I can't sell them so I'm happy to use them I have no issue with that yeah okay so going forward you'll be seeing these binders um, this one for challenges and this one is our bills binder, our business binder. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you so much and um, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And uh, yeah, take care everyone. All right, let me get it all in. Bye for now. Bye everyone.